Hi YouTube, Coin Picker Ann. Silly Coin Picker here. Here are our last week's thrift store finds. We are really lucky this week. Popped into a local thrift store. Actually, it was the uh, Value Village store. Usually, I don't find too many deals, but when I do, they're pretty decent. So I see this baggie of items, twenty nine ninety nine in the display case. And you know all the good stuff's usually in the display case. So I see these like six game tokens. They look like cast pewter and all stacked up. And I thought that's pretty expensive for what they are. But I looked, took it out, asked the lady to take out the case, looked on the side, and right away I recognized what they were and I I paid as fast as I could. Couldn't even get the money out fast enough. So here they are. And at first, they look like, you know, some sort of religious Christian items. Like, I don't know, is it Moses or well, Old Testament stuff? And, you know, I wasn't really too keen on it until I saw the edge. And the backside, you know, they have these sayings. But this, all right, this is the money shot here. Let me see. Can you focus that, please? All right. 1,000 grains sterling. And then these other marks. 77. Actually, these were produced in 1977. Uh, I did some research on them. And they were made by the Franklin Mint. So these are actually sterling silver keepsakes. And uh, we only have six out of the ten that used to be in one, like, set. I guess it's like some sort of framed set. And I looked up, what is a thousand gra grains? So it's basically each one of these bars are almost, or actually, it's yeah, it's rough, basically two ounces of silver. I think it's like a tiny bit over two ounces, but when you calculate it out into pure silver it's uh i think ends up being like 11 ounces 11 and a half ounces give or take but yeah 30 bucks for all this and i'll just show you on the scale basically 65 grams of bar so I was really stoked in finding these. Anyway, it seems like lately I've been picking up a lot of silver cheap. But uh, yeah, I'm going to just stack them all here. And, you know, I looked online and uh, some people you try to, I guess, uh, if they had the whole set complete, uh, I've seen prices like $1,300. I don't know, that might be a little bit on the high side, but it's supposedly like a rare set. So here, 395 grams. It's like a pound of silver. Awesome. Anyways, I did try to go back the next day to see if maybe, um, you know, the uh, remaining four would be in the display case, maybe in a set, another baggie. But unfortunately not, you well, it was worth a try. Uh, I also checked the uh, the kids, I guess, toy toy section to see if maybe they were put, uh, you know, uh, or treated like a bunch of tokens, you know, play things for kids. But no, wasn't there either. So maybe that's all they had that came in. Anyways, pretty awesome score. What do you think about this uh, silly coin picker? Are they awesome? Yeah, they look like tombstones, right? Mm -hmm. But silver ones. And actually, it doesn't look like silver because it, uh, this is actually an antique finish. Uh, these bars came out in 1977. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I this was one of the types of items I've always wanted to find at the thrift store. Like those Franklin Mint silver medallion sets or whatnot. Because a lot of times, it's you know, they're overlooked because... 
the information is, you know, very tiny about the silver content. But yeah, that's one thing to look for. I think um, the the store staff and probably other customers did not recognize this as silver, so silver ingots, silver bars. Number one, the shape. Number two, uh, the color, you know, it looks like pewter. Uh, number three, maybe the uh, religious theme. And um, I guess the size, it's very odd, odd size. But sometimes you have to do a little detective work and you actually find some pretty awesome stuff. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Coin Picker and Silly Coin Picker out. out.